Hi there. Um, so as I promised yesterday, what I'm plan to do today is to turn the drawings that I did out in the garden um, into a uh, little print. So uh, if you remember, first of all, I did a drawing with pencil. And after that, I did uh, some felt tip drawings. I sat in the same place um, and I did a couple of those and I was simplifying them each time. So this was the one I think I did on um, a video. And what I'm doing here is really abstracting the, um, the scene in front of me. Now, abstracting, in a way, is turning um, a picture into um, a number of simple elements. So my simple elements are colour, line and shape. Um, so from there, what I did was I created this... Um, little stencil print which has a totally different quality I mean it's it's a lovely thing to do I mean I think it almost looks slightly Scandinavian now which is a, a, a very different thing from from what I started with which is um, a, you know a fun thing to do so your scene might be totally different um, what I was looking for when I was doing my drawing was really that um, idea of some sort of straight line block shapes contrasting with some trees so if you can see something like that out of your window window or you have a garden um, that's a good thing to have as so that you can simplify that okay now I'm going to show you how I did my stencils so what I did I get some paper um, now this is some paper that's just you know not high quality writing paper that I can actually see through I'm not sure you can see through on that video, but I can. The important thing is that, um, can you see there? I'm making sure that each stencil piece is lines up exactly with the corner down here. That's so that I can register it or, or get each, each colour in the right place. So I'm going to have a different um, stencil for each colour. So this one is going to be my... Um, that kind of yellowy orange that's going to make the sheds. So this is a really simple one to start with. Um, so I've got my simple shed shapes. We're going to go like that. Final shed shape here. Okay, there's a little bit of planting there. Make it a bit more there. Okay. When you are drawing out... Um, stencil shapes what you're creating is just um, holes that the paint can go through I'll show you that again in the next one so that's my uh, light brown so that's that one done the next one and I've already cut this out is the black one again you've got to make sure it fits down in this corner here, so I'm getting that registered correctly. And so it fits over where I've got my shed shapes. So with this black one, the black one is really taking up the, the idea of the lines in this little composition here. So I've got the lines of the trees, um, lots of contrasting lines, some little um, going different directions. Um, and then also, I don't know if you remember, I really liked the horizontal lines of the sheds there. Now, when you're cutting out something for stencil, it's it's important that the lines don't, the holes that you create, don't um, overlap. So that you've got um, a little space of paper between each. Otherwise, it's all going to fall apart and not be any good to print from. So you can see all these little holes that I've made are all separate. They don't join up together, say. If you, um, I've got a bit of masking tape there because um, a bit ripped. It doesn't matter, you can always sort of stick it together. So um, that's my black one. And then for the green colour here, again, I've got to make sure it fits. I'm just... Um, just continuing doing a little bit more of these leaves. Now you can see that these leaves, these big leaves from my conifer, are not exactly the same sort of chunky shapes as those ones up there. But 
You'll see why I do those like that. Um, because when I come to cut them out, so I'm going to do a bit of cutting out now. I've got an old, it's an old cooking mat that I'm using as my uh, cutting mat. I do have a craft knife. You do need a craft knife for this. It would be quite difficult to do with scissors. So you can see that when you're cutting out, cut away from your hand, um, it's much easier to do this kind of leafy shape where you just do two curves that kind of come towards one another like that. And I think that will work just fine as my, as my tree shape. Okay, so just pop them off. Often easier to turn the paper than turn your silk. So it is a bit fiddly, but you know you get a kind of completely different sort of art from a stencil than you would with any other sort of materials. And it's fun, it's really fun to do. So a couple more of those. Okay, so I've already done my lawns down here and then these are the leafy bits from up around the trees like let me put that there okay so there's the one I did earlier now I've just started I already done the light brown for the sheds you do need, really need to wait for these to dry before you put your next color on so let me I'm going to do the black next again I need to make sure I've got it kind of registered in this little corner down here to make sure it sort of sits in the right place over where the sheds are. I'm going to then just put a tiny bit of masking tape. I'm happy I've got it in the right place. Just going to I'm just going to just fix it on so that it doesn't shift when I'm doing the printing. Okay, now the I don't have printing inks, but I'm using some acrylic. You could also use some ready mix paints, that would be fine. But what you can't use is, is watercolour. Um, so and then to use to do my printing, I've just chopped up some little uh, an old kitchen. Uh, sponge. So how I'm going to do this now, so I've got my black, I've got my bit of black there, so I've squeezed a bit of black acrylic out um, and I'm going to just put a spare bit of paper there, dip my sponge in like that. Now I'm just going to tap it somewhere else just to, because often it comes out a bit too blodgy to start with, so I just want to get, get it smoother and then I'm going to very carefully, then just put the sponge over where the holes are. And that is really how you do your printing. Now, I, with my other hand, I hold down that the bit of paper near where you're printing because it does flap up and down quite a bit. And these are a bit delicate where you have cut them. You might need to reload a bit. So I'm just going to go over all the holes that are black. Roof bit up there. Oh, and then I've got my long trunks up there. Oops, got to hold it down, remember. Actually, I think I need a little bit more black ink. So a tiny bit more acrylic there. That's the conifer up 
above the sheds, if you remember. Okay, I hope I've got it all. Maybe not up there. Actually, if it's a bit patchy, I quite like that. Right, so I'll just put that down. Right, the fun bit now is seeing what you've done. Okay, so we can now see I've got the trees and the shed. Carefully, carefully get your stencil out. You can reuse these. You can use them a couple of times. They're never quite so good as the first time you use them, though, because they start to deteriorate a bit. Okay, now I really should wait for that to dry before I do my green, but for the sake of this little video, I'm going to go straight in with the green. I really like it here where I've got a little bit of that patchy stencil. It looks lovely, actually. So, once again, registering in that corner there. I can see where this is going to go. Actually, I need my lawn to come in front of that shed. So, once again, a little bit of masking paper tape so it doesn't shift. Okay. My fingers are all black, so I need to be careful I don't get muck on the paper. Okay, so I've mixed up some a green I like here, which is quite a murky green. I want it to look I don't want it to look too bright. I think that would um, spoil the look I'm going for. Um, once again, put it there. Okay. Holding it down so it doesn't flap. So that's going to go over the black. And maybe I want it a bit patchy down there. And definitely a bit patchy up in the corner for there so you see some of the black through it and then the last bit okay I hope it hasn't stuck because it's the black was still wet it might have stuck a bit oh no so far so good and there we are that's my little screen print finish. Can you see that? So I've turned the elements of my garden into shapes, colours and lines. And I quite like that. I say it looks a bit like a kind of Scandinavian design for some reason. Okay, yours will be totally different because you won't be looking at my garden. You'll be looking at your own or your own view outside. And again, this is quite a fiddly thing to do, but it's really good fun. So um, I'd love to see what anybody does. OK, um, I'm putting these on YouTube, so please subscribe and like down below, please. Thank you.